good morning my friends and followers i want to welcome you to another episode of my video on arch modeling system this morning i will be teaching you how to estimate a simple gash model and also how to estimate a simple gash aiming model the gash aiming model we are going to look at the variance and the variance uh, and the standard equation pattern so please stay tuned to my channel as we do justice to these three items recall that the intuition behind the gash estimation is premised on a single fact that the arch system looks like a moving average and uh, it is on that premise that uh, Bolislav introduced the the gas system and according to my previous video the gas system is also known as the generalized autoregressive conditional heteroskedasticity so it's an advanced uh, uh, advancement in the arch modeling system so this morning we are going to look at how it is being estimated and also how it is being uh, interpreted uh, in uh, financial time series statistics so stay tuned to my channel as we work together uh, in my evening worksheet this morning you can visualize the series on sports on the sports prices in nigeria and sports return so we have this this is the series of sports prize in nigeria and uh, this is a series and in my last video on arch i taught you how to transform uh, this series into uh, a return or a change you can use the log of differences or you can also but the log of differences is actually the best you can also compute it uh, manually so in our EV worksheet here we have we have the return which is this other one so we are going to be working with this other series which is uh, the change in sports prices in nigeria starting from 2016 to 2022 uh, month 10. it's a monthly time series observation uh, that was actually pulled out from the central bank of nigeria statistical bulletin so if you are interested in this uh, statistical you can also visit the CBN uh, portal, it's free, extract, arrange and make it uh, hand keep it, uh, make it useful for for your practical classics. So this morning we are going to look at three items as I had said previously, but before we start it's expected that we look at the series we want to work on. See if the series is normal and also see if the series requires more attention so to do that i will double click on the sports return this is my sport return the first thing to do i go to view from view i'll move on to to a simple line graph to visualize the the series from simple line graph i move to frames and sizes i will always change to two-dimensional <coughs> graph i will click the ok button without changing any other thing so I'm exposed to this. This is my series, and if you look at this series, uh, the fall within, uh, the fluctuate within the the stationarity line within the zero point, and uh, we have a period of calmness followed by another period of calmness. We have a wide period within 2020, and another followed and another wide period before. Uh, a calm period from 2021 to 2022 so basically we can also conclude or assume that this series uh, has a little stable uh, uh, stability or somehow volatile or volatile in the, in the, uh, as the case may be but to actually confirm that the series is volatile we can also perform the test for the ash effects to have that done, I will need to minimize my graph. I've minimized my graph. So the next thing I'm supposed to do is to perform the test for the presence of ash effect. I'll go to quick. From quick, I'll go to estimate equation. From estimate equation, I will specify my variables. Remember, I'm specifying the new variable that was created 
not the original variable and specifying the changes or the return to sports prices or constants I will not specify in their first lag in the first lag then uh, return to sports price constant and the first lag of return to sports price uh, without changing any other thing uh, the least square I will hit the OK button I will be exposed to the sports price ordinary least square I agree at but this is not where I'm going to I will maneuver to view from view I'll go to residual diagnostics from residual diagnosis and move to heteroscale diagnostics text if you are open to or exposed to this you choose the hash you click the OK allow the number of locks to be in default you hit the OK button so you'll be exposed to Heterosky test ash and this text enables you to decide if there is an ash effect or not with what we have here we have not seen that both the F statistics and the observer square both have uh, uh, probability values both has probability values that are less than the threshold of five percent so given this condition we can now proceed to conclude that uh, the series we are working with uh, has an ash effect and because the series is uh, is stationary we can now say that the series is volatile and it is the presence of the volatility clustering in this series that we now prompt or motivate us to proceed to perform the arch and the gash test but we have done the arch test the other time we are doing the gash test today then to have that done i will now move on to quick i move to estimate equation from estimate equation i come over to equation estimation boss again i decide to estimate my model again just like what i did previously I will estimate my model again lag one i move over to method estimation setting from method i change the method to ash we have identified that there's an ash effect i change to ash so within this other estimation framework the next thing to be done is to go to option change the optimization method to if use legacy uh, without changing any other thing you come back to specification uh, you leave it at ash one and gash one because we want to model a parsimonious gash model had it been i actually intend to model an uh, over parameterized gash model i would not change this gash to whatever number i actually intend to and i'm not uh, the first thing i want to do is gash i'm not doing gash in mean when we are interested in doing gash in mean i will also teach you what to change in this particular estimation uh, portal to have gash in mean estimation setting remain ash a sample size 2016 month 1 to 2022 month 10 the error construct remain the normal version uh, restriction we don't want to impose restriction in this model so the next thing to be done is to hit the ok button if you hit the ok button uh, you'll be exposed to an output that looks like this the dependent variable is the sports return the method uses the ash normal distribution market if you legacy and uh, we have uh, a sample of 2016 to 2022 quarter nine after of the observation or adjustment rather totally 97 after adjustment and convergence was achieved after 30 iteration so this result this result is split into two this result is divided into two sections and we copy it neatly to a microsoft word where we are going to look at it one after the other so stay tuned follow me to microsoft word this is my microsoft icon i'll hit on it i'll hit on it and i will now expose the result like this this is the results this is the results so if we want to look at this result critically we will now try to look at the first equation we have here this is the the mean equation i color code it yellow the second equation is the variance equation rather this is the variance equation to be color coded red 
this is a variance equation a color code the variance equation red so let's look at these two results critically the c c is the average of sports return in nigeria and with what we have here the average of sports return is not statistically significant and uh, the past or previous or past realizations of sports return is not also statistically significant because the p-values are more than five percent and since these values are not statistically significant we can now conclude that sports return is not uh, the past values of stock return is not a good predictor of the current value of sports return in nigeria and i'm not more comfortable with it but for practical purposes we need to move on with it then the second equation is the variance equation and uh, the stability condition is that the sum of the gash term sum of the gash term and the ash term is supposed to be less than unity which is one and looking at this we have the ash time is the gash time is 0 0.013590 while the ash time which is the residual square is 0 0.786267 so it is sum of dicks and dicks they are less than one and given that condition we will now uh, conclude that the stability condition for this estimation is being upheld because the sum of the gash term and the ash term are less than a uh, unity so basically if you also look at the significant disposition of this series it's also an issue because the ash the gash term is not statistically significant why the ash term is uh, significant so we also need to consider the arrow square of this series the arrow square of this series is too low which evidence uh, the presence of a very severe problem and uh, if you look at the WRC statistics it's also okay the log likelihood is over bloated so in other videos we are going to look at other statistical and this other section of this uh, results so let's go back to our e views to estimate the gash aiming model so this is my e view work work file back to my EV work file uh, we we were here previously this is the estimation portal where we estimated the simple gash model so the next thing to be done is to estimate gash in mean model to do that you go to this gash m you change it from non to to virance uh, but let's actually understand something here the gash in mean model and uh, two sheets we have the gash in main with variance and the gash in main with standard deviation so since we want to do the first one we'll move on to variance we leave it at at variance and click the ok button we now will be exposed to a different result that looks similar to the previous one but the difference is that there is uh, the gash term introduced into the mean equation that is the difference that have actually occurred and uh, the values actually differs because when uh, the gash term is introduced into the mean equation the value of the the ash term in the variance equation will reduce while the value of the ash term will improve so introducing the gash term into the mean equation improves the the the, the, the variance equation statistically so that is actually what we saw in the estimation procedure this is what this is how the gas in mean output comes up and the difference between the gas in mean and the gas result is what i have told you then the next thing to also be done is to estimate the gas in mean model using the standard deviation so you go back to m you on, on tick variance and tick standard deviation you hit the ok button once you hit the ok button you are going to be exposed to another result in uh, at this other result we have uh, uh, the gash mean the square residual the square value of the gash mean uh, introduced into the mean equation and just like i said before the value of the ice time continue to to reduce uh, in the variance equation so this is how to estimate gash gash mean 
virus gash image standard deviation stay tuned to my video in my next video i'm going to do justice to other parts of the ash modeling system thank you and god bless you